So hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel. And before starting the video if you have not watched part 1 and part 2, so please go and watch both of them first then come here. So now let's start the video, ok, so up to now, we have done camera properties and a little bit of navigation, but I thought it might be a good time to talk about camera switching, it allows us to pick certain frames where the camera will switch from one to the other. You can set these with markers and we add the markers in the timeline, select our camera and then bind the camera to the marker. And so what will happen is when we reach a frame where our new camera marker is placed, it will cause that camera to become the active camera. Our view will go to it and it will be the camera that renders in this way, it means you can achieve multiple shots within one blender scene and animation. The only thing to be aware of the camera will be moving as an object. So if you have, for example, vector motion blur on in the compositor, it can cause a lot of tearing on the frame change. So just keep that in mind and you can even animate the property to be turned off just for the frame. Before and after a camera switch. This will completely avoid the problem. First off, I'm going to hover my mouse cursor over the timeline on frame 1 currently and press the MK moving up the timeline. I can see that I have added a marker down at the bottom left. Oh, add another marker further along the timeline so we can select the markers along this bottom bar. And move them. Now, let's directly behind this camera to our timeline. If I press the hotkey Ctrl B, it will just create a new marker. But if I move to a frame that does have a marker, it will add it there. I can even add a little bit of animation to the cameras and wherever I move these markers to add that frame, it will switch to the new camera so you can combine different types of camera motions, change the keys to slow down or speed up the camera at the moment that it switches and does the cut. I can stretch out some of these other keys here and have the camera begin to dolly backwards. And when I'm creating a couple of shots for any type of animation, sometimes I will come into the timeline here and break down to the channels. This can be done in the graph editor and also the dope sheet editor. And I can move around specific channels. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of delay in the rotation while the camera starts to dolly and move. And getting these combinations can allow you to have more professional and cooler looking shots. You can see the active camera changing as the market is activated by the frame bar so we can move our markers. For example, let's move our camera marker to the middle and now I will select the third camera over here that I had duplicated from the last lecture. And we can add a new binding with control. B. Let's say we wanted to have a first shot being much further away and then cut back to a closer shot of the object. So this would be an expositional shot, maybe showing an environment and then you'd cut into a closer shot. And so that's really quick and intuitive to work with. And though sometimes it's nice to have separate shots as different blend files, especially while planning shots and doing layouts of different scenarios and sequences, being able to quickly switch cameras and not have to have a new blend file or scene every new setup makes things much quicker to build a short film or a cut scene for a game maybe. Thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something from this video please hit the like button hit the share button and please subscribe to my channel also. If you have any query if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment section I will definitely reply your comment. So bye bye take care and stay home guys.